So where do we leave off? Uh, we have six badges now. We have to go and fight Blaine. We have Pearl, which is a water type, so that should go good. I think you should probably carry us through that gym, to be honest. And you have really good uh, physical defense, too. Although fire's special in this game, so I keep forgetting that. Never mind. Uh, let me just get the level cap stuff up. We have to go through the mansion first, though. So Pokemon, Fire, Red, Gyms. So I think we should just fly on over to Cinnabar Island and go into the mansion. So over here, there's really nothing we need to do. Also, I thought this is a cool little weird thing, but if you walk past the gym doors, you automatically are forced to face it and it says the door is locked, then you get turned away. For, no matter from which side you face it, which is really weird. Like you would think it'd only be if you face right up against it. So, oh, actually there's a Pokemon we can catch here. We can get Grimer and Grimer or Muck, because we can't get both, which is right over there, I think. You ran from your encounter? Wait, did I run into one of them? I didn't even realize I ran into one of them. That doesn't count. I thought I only ran into Rattatas. I was not paying attention. You ran into call. I didn't see it, therefore it didn't count. I think your uh, I think your Twitch just glitched, guys. It's kind of weird. Oh look, Grammar. Anyway, what do we name Grammar? Don't give me any weird nicknames, you freaks. Jabba the Muck. I kind of like Jabba. Uh, I'm just gonna evolve it right now. That's a pretty solid squad, I would say. Besides the Ditto, which is kind of useless. But you know, it'd be like that. What's the story behind this mansion, by the way? Is it just, like, abandoned? Yeah, I know it's where Mewtwo was made, but, like, is that it? Like, like Mewtwo was made here, and they're like, all right, I'm gonna head out, and that's it. So the cap's 47, but I'm gonna go, like, to the... Actually, we can just answer the questions. I don't have to fight the junior trainers. Ditto's our lands counter. That's actually pretty big brain. That's, like, super big brain. No, they're not. What is this? It's a photo of Blaine and Mr. Fuji. They're sitting shoulder to shoulder with big grins. Yo, that's the badge up there, too. Is that in every gym? There's, that's not in every gym. That's cool though. So what's our game plan? Let's think about our game plan. We have a fire type gym and a water type Pokemon on our team. Hmm. It's in every gym. Say cap right now. We're checking. Holy crap. You know, I made two useless facts videos about this game. Or about this franchise. Nobody's ever commented that. Because if it turns out that that's in like Diamond and Pearl or something, my mind will be shattered. I'm not even gonna bother playing epic music for this fight because let's let's be real. Come on. I'm just gonna hit surf six times and win. Down goes Growlithe. I think this music's pretty fitting for a gym battle though in general. Fire Blast. Keck wait. Uh so we got burned. Only has the Arcanine left. I guess I can go to Aerodactyl. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Let's go for Rock Slide. You can't even hear the music. Yeah, it's just the song. Uh, and, I, and I can't skip this on because it's on like a, it's on a radio, right? Uh, it's just super low. Oh, good thing we have the Citrus Berry still. So he's probably going to heal here, I would imagine. Let's not miss a Rock Slide, Copium. Never punished. Never missing the Rock Slides. Okay. Down he goes. Uh, and I want to finish this for Brilliant Diamond, which I think we're going to finish this tomorrow. I might just not stream tomorrow, honestly, at the, <laughs> just to prolong this. So here's something a lot of people don't know. Uh, when Bill asks you to go to Seven Islands right here, you could just say no. Because whenever I make a video about Fire Red and I don't go to the Seven Islands, they're like, why didn't you show the Seven Island part? I'm like, you, you can skip it. So one thing we have to watch out for is a lot of the junior trainers have fighting type Pokemon. Uh, I believe there's actually a way that we could just get the Giovanni with only battling one trainer. So level cap is 49? 50. Let's go for Surf. It's 400% super effective. Down it goes. Is Dugtrio next? Rhyhorn. That's his ace, Rhyhorn. Down it goes. Do you enjoy the games? I mean, I played them when I was like 10, so yeah. I feel like I enjoyed any game I played when I was 10, to be fair. Except strangely enough, I remember I got the GBA version of Link's Awakening. I think it was Link's Awakening. No, Link to the Past, and I hated it. And I remember like I hated it so much that I like, returned. Like, we, I remember going to GameStop with my dad that day, playing it, and then being like, Dad, I don't like this game, and then he took me back to return it. I don't know why I didn't like it. Actually, I think it was broken. I think that was the problem. I think it was broke. I think what happened is I would turn it on, and GBA games just have this weird issue, like where you would turn them on, they would just be all pixelated. And I think that was the problem with it. 
But I also didn't like it because it was a different art style than Minish Cap. And I loved Minish Cap. And I was like, why does this look different? I don't like it. <laughs> and then like 10 years later, uh, Retro Game Store opens up. One of the first games I got was Links of the Past for the GBA. <laughs> so, and I, I remember playing it on an airplane. I forgot where I was going, but I played it on an airplane. Okay, Doug Trio. Last Pokemon. Goes for Slash. Does 9 damage. Easy gym, folks. I feel like uh, this game really snowballs once you get to Celadon City. Like, the game just opens wide up. Like, there's so much you could do. There's just, like, you could get the Eevee and do some stuff. You could, like, do the bit, the gym badge a bit out of order. Get the Master Ball. Like, lots of, lots of just towns to go to. Oh, dude, what's the level cap now? What's, uh... What's the Elite Four's Pokemon? 63. All right, so we got a battle our rival over here. I have no idea what level his Pokemon are. All right, let's go rival. What do I name the rival? Oh, yellow. That makes sense, because we're purple. Rival yellow and the Pidgeot. No, not a Mukbang stream. I hate, I freaking hate Mukbangs, dude. I do not get the appeal of hearing people slap around food in their mouth. I think it's disgusting. Sorry, if you're into that. Actually, I'm not sorry if you're into that. Just the way it is. But apparently that's like a super just big thing that people do on YouTube. It's like, hey guys, I went to KFC and got everything on the menu. Now you're going to watch me eat it for 25 minutes. Because like, I'm not a fan of uh, ASMR either, but I can get the appeal. Like there's a difference between like, not, I don't know. How did I describe it? Like there's things that I'm not a fan of, but I get the appeal. If that makes sense. It's like, oh, I'm not into that, but I can see why somebody would like it. Maybe I should have taught Blizzard. I don't think it really matters. Because I don't think that we can get one-shotted. And we can hit five times and kill it, hopefully. Okay, or four times. I wasn't counting. Four times, all we needed. Nice. With the Intimidate, doesn't matter because we're all special. I don't know why he's just not sending out that Blastoise. But okay. It especially gets worse when you look into one welcoming person. For those who know, it's not fun. I know exactly what you're talking about, I think. Is it uh, Nick Avocado, right? I've heard a lot of weird things about that individual. Mildly concerning, I won't lie. Okay, this is a plus one psychic. Wait, should I have switched? Never punished. Let's go. Is he like half dead? I have no idea. All right, now what do you do for Blastoise? Yo, what's a what's a Jabba doing? Like, what are you what are you doing, bro? Like, how how are you? Got Sludge Bomb, Disable, Minimize. Uh, Poison special, right? No, it's physical. Yeah. So I'm gonna Screech. Dude, you're level 53 and you have Water Gun. How pathetic are you? <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't be doing that. You got the Rain Dance, though, to boost it. That's something. Would be better if you had... Aqua Tail, Surf, you know, a lot of, lot of better water moves. Critical hit too. Yeah, another hard fight. Yeah, Cloyster and Aerodactyl are just too good. That's the problem. Well, not really problem. It's the solution, I guess. Just imagine if we still had like Gligar and like all these other Pokemon that died, like Golbat. What else do we have that was really good besides Gold Espeon? <laughs> this is wait a minute. This is Pokemon TV anime. Am I allowed to play this? I'm going back to the other Nintendo Radio. I don't try. I don't trust anything that's uh from the official Pokemon soundtrack to be non dmc aid a little bit too somber but i won't get sued for playing it so it's fine when i was a kid and i first played through pokemon red like even when i didn't have all the badges i would just show up here sometimes and be like maybe they'll let me through today they never did and like once you got here and you could surf like just seeing like the the more parts that opened up i thought was so cool and there used to be one of them in the water they changed that though like one of them used to be just in the middle of the water i really don't want to teach anybody strength it's just strength that we need right this makes no sense, bro. Yeah, I did push that rock, but I ran I, I pushed it on to where it has to go, ran into a wild Pokemon, and then the rock disappeared. See? You already moved the rock. What? Yeah, it's there now. And now look, look, run into a Pokemon, run away. It's still there. I'm just gonna ignore it. So our team's like pretty solid, honestly. 
And we could still get a wheezing if we, but the thing is like, if we get wheezing, like, is there anything I'd want to replace? I don't think so. Ragnarok's still pretty solid. I'm going to get rid of wing attack in the elite four if we need to for like fire blast or dragon claw, like whatever we see fit. Although looking at the elite four members, I don't think fire blast is really needed except I mean, it hits the executor, but then again, we're a flying type. So what's the point? Uh, Glare Acid Screech Bite would be much better if we could get like Sludge Bomb and Crunch, but I don't think we can. Transform, that's perfect. Would be better if we had a better move over Gust, but I don't think there's really anything else we could do. This moveset's pretty solid. Uh, this moveset's very solid. It's probably the best moveset on the team. This or Aerodactyl. Uh, so I think that's going to be it for today. Next time we play will be the finale, so be on the lookout for that. First attempt, 8 badges. Sure, there's 6 oofs. Yeah, sure there's 13 total Pokemon we can get here, which is kind of a lot. Well, 14 if you count Mewtwo. Well, actually, no, because you... Oh, no, actually, if you play... Okay. Well, there's versions of exclusives that mess it up. So, for example, in this game, we have Cloyster. In Leaf Green, we have Starmie, but yeah. It looks like we're finishing a lot quicker than I thought. And even if we wipe tomorrow, I'm not going to restart, just because there's not going to be enough time, honestly. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, people. Thanks for watching. I don't know why I said that twice. We'll see you next time. Have a good night. And bye-bye.